Welcome to another Empires in Books puzzle video. There seems to be a lot of confusion about this new gobbler balloon, so I just kind of wanted to go over it and explain exactly how this thing works so that everybody understands and hopefully this clears things up. So in your regular daily chest, the monster chest, titan chest, uh, hero chest, it's possible in the loot that you'll get one of these uh, new loot crates. So you can click on that loot crate. I had already clicked on mine. And inside my goblin crate was two three-star trainer heroes. So what happens when you open those crates? They just go inside the balloon. You don't actually have those items. And in fact, to get those items, what you would need to do is purchase it. So you can see mine there says US $2.37. Uh, the country code I'm working under already includes tax, so yours is probably $1.99 if you're stateside or changed into whatever local currency wherever you are. But at this point, if I go ahead and make the purchase for $2.37, I'm just going to get those two trainer heroes, and then the goblin balloon goes away. If I choose to hold on to those items, I can keep filling the balloon by finding more crates in, that are going to be hidden in other loot chests. So as I get those, they'll keep adding up. Once all five slots are filled, and the price is going to go up with each one, I'm hoping they're all around $2, so it might be ultimately like a $10 purchase. At that point, if you choose to buy, once the balloon is filled, you would get all, all five items plus this mystery box. Now there is a blue eye in the corner of this mystery box. If you click on that, it'll show you all the options in there of what you could possibly get as a bonus item. So uh, you would get one of these items, but some of these are 10 times. So like right in the center of that one long row there, it says 10 times hardwood lumber. So you have a 4% chance to get 10 hardwood lumbers. But you also have the same percentage chance to get 30 Legends coins or Atlantis coins or Valhalla coins or any of this other stuff that's listed. You only get that crate for free if you buy the other stuff. So whatever those five items are, you can buy that and you'll get that crate for free. If you're free to play or cheap to play and you're just not interested in spending money on these items, it's still good to fill the balloon. Uh, I haven't seen this yet because I haven't seen anybody fill a balloon yet, but once all the items are filled, once the balloon is completely filled, if you decide you don't want those items, you'll be able to recycle those and just get standard loot. So it'd sort of be like opening another regular monster chest or a hero chest. So you'd get a bunch of other loot. Uh, it just would not be as exciting as the things that you're seeing in these crates. So I've seen people get a pile of emblems. I, I've got the two trainer heroes. Uh, I think some people have gotten coins for some of the other events like Atlantis or Valhalla. So, so different things are going to come in here. And then we got to decide if it's worth buying. You know, the, the two trainer heroes I have here, you know, I basically evaluate that as a buy one, get one free if you're doing single pulls on trainer heroes, which I wouldn't do. Uh, when I do trainer hero pulls, I usually do the 10 times to save the money that way. So I don't think this is neither a good or a bad buy. Uh, it's also worth pointing out in the top left corner of the Goblin Balloon, there are some more information. If you click the blue question mark there, it'll give you some more details and kind of explain some of the things I'm going over. So really, ultimately, uh, if you ignore this thing and just let it fill up, you're going to get free loot. So for free to play and cheap to play, I think this is a good thing. Assuming the dollar items stay low, I think this will also be good for cheap to play. For pay to play players like myself, uh, you know, assuming that the value is there, I, I wouldn't see a reason not to bother picking these up and getting some extra items that I'd probably be grabbing somewhere else anyway. So if you have any other questions about the balloon, go ahead and post them in the comments. I'll gladly answer them. If you have questions about anything else in the game, I'll, I'll do what I can to answer those too or, or research it as best I can and provide the best information that I can to you all. So I hope this was helpful. Good luck finding the goblin crates. Uh, I thought they were going to be dropping more often than they are. I open multiple chests every day, and I still have only gotten one. So I'll be curious to see what the rate of drop is on these crates. Wish you well, and as always, hoping you have the best of tiles.